All right. Yeah, I'm sitting here getting ready to watch uh, that Mark Kez fight tonight. You know, and I just finished watching, uh, you know, Brandon Rios. You know, fight this a real dude, and <clears throat> that's why, you know, as of late, I'm not really been, you know, a fan of top rank and you know shows they've been putting on. You know, it seems like they, they just be doing like fixed fights, you know, to make their cash cows look good. Uh, you know, started, you know, recently, recent ones, is, like most notable would be the fight that Marquez had against uh, that, or how you say, Lacar Ramos do uh, last July. All right, you know, they had the Pacquiao fight for Marquez scheduled already before Marquez even went into the training camp for that fight. He already had a fight for Pacquiao scheduled in September. Not September, but for November. And he had that fight that he was having in July. And he, he ain't even, you know, it's like during the press conferences, you know, they already had that fight signed. So I'm like, you you gonna schedule this fight before you know, your opponents even had their next fight. And, you know, what's funny is when Mayweather was talking about wanting to fight Pacquiao after he beat Ortiz, you know, back in that October, a few weeks before Pacquiao fought uh, Marquez, Bob Barron came around and said, that's not how you negotiate a fight. You don't try to negotiate a fight when your opponent still has one coming up. But didn't they just do that to Marquez, though? Yeah, anyway, you know, that's that's not what the focus is right here. It's top ranks fixed fights. You know, they they have Marquez win that fight against Ramos in what? What was it? Was it the first or second round where they had Marquez knock him out like that? You know, and, and that dude, man, I, I have never seen where somebody got knocked out, you know, and got down, got comfy first, and then, and then rested their head on the canvas. I ain't seen nobody get comfy, you know, when when they got knocked out before. You know, that's something new to me. And you know that that just lets you know that that fight was fixed. Why? Cause scheduling that fight ahead of time for Marquez to fight Pacquiao, if Marquez would have lost, or if Marquez would have had, you know, a lot of damage taken in that fight or they would have had to push that fight back or you know it wouldn't have you know raised the type of money that you know Aaron wanted it to bring in it wouldn't have been as profitable if Marquez lost right there you know knowing they already had um you know Marquez scheduled that would have killed the fight you know, just like if Pacquiao happens to lose or look real bad you know it's not really going to you know, appeal to people to see him fight Floyd, which is why, you know, which is why I'm thinking they took this fight with Bradley, because Pacquiao looked bad against Marquez again. But, but then you get, you get to tonight, Richard Abreu and fucking Brandon Rios. And you, you see, you see what I like to call typical top rank bullshit. You know, this this is you know this is something that you know you just that you just shouldn't do. You just should not do this to people in in a sport like that where where they come out bust their ass, you know, killing themselves in training camp and you know coming up to the fight to give their best. And then, you know, just just get robbed like that, you know? Yeah, Abril isn't that known. You know, he's 17-2 and two with a draw. And, you know, Rios is undefeated. But, you know, he's a top-ranked fighter. Somebody who's going to bring Bob Aaron money. And if he would have lost, I mean, that would have been bad for him. Because, you know, it... Aaron, Aaron has been losing his money makers. You know, De La Hoya walked away from him. They had uh, 
Floyd walked away from him. Cotto walked away from him. Uh, looks like, you know, Ch Chavez Jr. It looked like he ain't really too happy with the way, you know, contract had been with top rank. And it looks like maybe he might leave too, you know, follow suit, become his own promoter like, you know, Cotto Mayweather and De La Hoya. But, you know, maybe, maybe Aram's worried about that happening with Rios. You know, so you got he had to do a little something to you know keep Rios undefeated, keep him looking good. Cause one, you know, if Rios lose, you know that's bad profitably for him. And not only that, but you know, not not just for Rios, but for Top Rank as a whole. It's going to make people start wondering, you know, why Why do we keep buying, you know, these top-ranked fights? You know, we're wasting our money, you know, expecting to see a good fight. Then instead, we see robbery. We see a dude get his ass embarrassed. Yet still, still get the decision victory, you know? And, you know, the, the only reason they make it a split decision instead of unanimous is because if it was unanimous, then there would have been a bigger uproar than, you know, if it was just a split decision. And, you know, that, that's the only reason it was a split decision is because people who you know, don't really understand boxing, don't really know boxing, or, you know, they're not really going to say too much about it, because they'll be like, oh, it was a close fight, it was hard to tell who was winning each round, so, you know, that's a good thing to have judges, because they'll tell you who won at the end when we can't figure it out, but, you know, people who, who have been paying attention to the sport for a long time, who understand the ins and outs of the people who know what's going on inside the ring, and, you know, they, they can actually score a fight for themselves. They're going to be like, hold up. There's no way in hell that, you know, that should have been the decision that came out. You know, but Brill, the whole fight, he was keeping Rios at the end of his jab. He was ducking out the way Rios punches. He was making Rios look foolish, you know. He, he was counter-punching and boxing them. And up close, you know, Rios... Rios wasn't able to land anything while it was up there right in each other's face in the pocket, you know, and and the, 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 throughout the rest of the fight, when it wasn't in the pocket, you know, Rios was chasing him, trying to land, wasn't really landing nothing, and he was getting, you know, popped by jabs, getting popped by short hooks, uppercuts, and some straights, you know, and, you know, it just don't make no sense why, you know, something like this keep on happening whenever you see a top-ranked fight recently, but... That's something to keep an eye out for. But anyways, I'm going a, I'm to a continue watching, you know, this Marquez fight. You know, it's the end of round two right now. And, you know, Marquez seemed like he's doing all right. But, you know, I'll probably, probably do another video on that fight after I finish watching it. But y'all take it easy.